When it comes to everything I've learned over the past year making small projects inside of Unity, I've always had a question, does any of this information transfer to another engine? I really wanted to know how it would go trying to learn a new engine, so I chose to challenge myself. I started to look on itch for a game jam that uses any engine other than Unity. In the past I've used Unreal off of courses off a website, as well as Pico8 following a Zyn, but nothing as far as tackling a project on my own. While looking on itch, I came across the Godot Wild Jam, the main theme of the jam being assembly, and a few extra themes they called wild cards. I chose to take two of the wild cards, one being limiting the color palette to four colors because I really enjoy color constraints when working on art, and the other card being temperature. While writing down random ideas, I had come up with the idea of a person stuck in a snowstorm who has to fix things by finding parts. After about another hour of brainstorming, I had the full idea. The player is from a small remote town out in the mountains, and their power has gone out. The player has to trek high up into the mountains and has to reassemble the generators that help power the village below by digging through abandoned houses. Now that I had an idea, it was time to start working on it, only I had zero clue how to use Godot. Firing up the engine for the first time left me with the same feeling I had using Unity for the first time. I spent about 15 minutes just looking around the interface, and I knew I was not going to get anywhere without a bit of direction, so I started looking for tutorials. I found a tutorial called Dodge the Creeps by GD Quest that looked to cover a chunk of the basics, so I went through that tutorial and by the end I had a basic idea of how to use the engine. A big thing I wish I would have found earlier in the jam was auto-loading. Auto-loading allows variables and even functions to be loaded at the start of the game that can be accessed by any script as needed. This ended up being an absolute game changer while writing the code towards the end, and massively increased the speed of problem solving and getting the project closer to finished. By the end of the jam I had a playable game, though not without a fair share of bugs. This challenge did end up showing me that the knowledge from one engine does transfer to the other, though there are differences. A big part of the knowledge that transfers is not actually knowing how to code in it or the engine itself, but rather the approach for problem solving and knowing how to read documentation and looking through sites. This jam ended up being tons of fun, and it turns out I really love the workflow of Godot, and I look forward to using the engine more in the future. If you want to check out the project, there's a link down in the description to a slightly newer build that fixes a few of the bugs that were made during the jam build. Until the next video, take care.